Hello, I'm Charles Severance. I'm the author of uh, the O'Reilly book titled Using the Google App Engine. And uh, this is a video for my companion website, appenginelearn.com, that uh, will tell you how to install Google App Engine and write your first application on a Macintosh. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the Macintosh conveniently has a nice uh, Python installation, so we don't have to do anything in particular for that. So we're going to first download the App Engine Launcher. You see the URL up here at the top, code.google.com slash appengine slash downloads.htm. And so let's go ahead and download that. It'll take a moment. Okay, so uh, that is now completed. Um, and let me come back. It has mounted the Google App Engine Launcher disk, and this is this. We don't want to run it from here. We need to copy it into our Applications folder. So let me go ahead and uh, start up a, get a new browser window here. And so I need to go to my Applications folder in my Macintosh hard drive, and then I'm going to copy the Google App Engine Launcher into that. And once I'm done with that, I no longer need this mounted disk drive. So just so that I don't make any mistakes, I'm going to close that and I'm going to eject that. And so now the only thing I've got left is a copy of the Google App Engine Launcher in Applications. Make that a little bigger now. And so here we go. And I'll launch this. Now the first time it's asking some questions to make sure that um, I really am not installing software that I don't want to install. And I'll say open here. And then it extracts the runtime and it makes some links and you want to say yes and it's going to ask me for a password and there I go and it says everything is good so now the app engine launcher is properly running now um, a convenient thing that I can do uh, to make this more convenient is keep it in my dock by coming down here on the icon after I've launched it and pressing and holding until a button comes up and I can say options keep in dock. So what that means is we even when I close this application it'll be sitting there in my dock. So let me go ahead and quit this application so you can see how that works. Let me minimize this just because we'll come back to that in a moment. And I can close the applications. You'll notice that the application is not running down here and it's still sitting in my dock and I can double click it and up it comes. Okay, so that's it. That's our that's our App Engine launcher. So now let's write our first application, and uh, I'm going to use Text Wrangler, which is a free, uh, wonderful uh, text editor, and I'll use Text Wrangler to uh, create our little application. Now I am going to follow the patterns of the Hello World application. I'll just make a slight change. So I'm in the Getting Started area. And we've already set up our development environment, so we're going to go straight to Hello World. And we're going to create two files. One is a Python file, and one is the app.yaml file. And I'm not going to call mine Hello World or Hello World.py, but I am going to write the same code. So I'm just going to copy this and put it over in my application. And then I'm going to save this file, save as, and I'm going to put it in my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to call my folder apps because I'm going to make a bunch of these applications. And I'm going to call this first one AE01 Trivial. And then I'm going to call this file index.py. Index.py. So it's been saved. Now let me show you what that looks like. So I've got a folder now on my desktop. And in the subfolder AE01 Trivial, so it's in the folder apps, subfolder AE01 Trivial, index.py. Okay, so that's this file right here. It's sitting there on my folder. Now, I'm going to make another file. And this file, I'm going to also borrow the source code right from Google. And I'm going to grab this other file, the app.yaml. And I'm going to make a couple changes here. Paste it in. 
I'm going to call my application AEO1 Trivial, and I'm going to route my URLs to index.py rather than hello world.py because I named my file index.py. And so I changed my application name and nothing else I changed. Make sure you got spaces here so things line up this way. Uh, make sure you have spaces in between here. We'll, we'll go make a few mistakes on purpose to kind of see what happens when you make mistakes. Then we'll do file, save as, and then call it app.yaml. Now you have no choice in the name of this particular file because this is where the app engine looks in the folder for the file named app.yaml and that defines what the application is. Okay, so now we want to run this as a web server. And so built into this Google App Engine launcher is a simple web server. So we want to add this application to the Google App Engine launcher. So we're going to say File, Add Existing Application. We're going to Browse and Desktop, Apps, Highlight AEO1 Trivial, and then choose It, and then Add It. Now it's going to pick a port to run instead of port 80, for example. Port 8080 is a common place to put these. If you have more than one of these things, then you will, um, you'll you have different port numbers. But for now, it's our first one, so it defaults to port 8080, which is perfectly fine. OK, so then we're going to do a run and start it up. And see the little green arrow? That means that it's running now. So now we can browse it. And so this is going to launch a browser and point that browser. Oops. We just made a mistake. <sighs> well, boy, you'd think I could get three lines of Python right. But it says in line three of this file, I've got hello world. And it's I've got N EOL end of line while scanning literal. Let's go fix that. Go here. I'll go to index.py. Oh, look at that. I forgot a single quote. I, I swear I did not mean to do that. But hey, mistakes happen. And then I saved it. Sorry, I hit, I hit save so fast. Um, I hit command S to save it. And so now I go back here and I refresh in my browser and my program actually runs and it doesn't fail. So that was the first thing to show you is what it looks like when your program fails and messes up. And that is it gives you a traceback just as if you would run that as a Python program from the command line. I mean, in a sense, what's happening is this web browser is making a request to the web server, and then the web server is running this application, and the output is coming back to the browser. So in a sense, it's like input from a browser, program in the server, output back to the browser. So you saw what happens when it makes a mistake. You get a trace back. Now we're going to make one more mistake just so you see how that mistake looks. So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to stop our application. And then I'm going to make a mistake in the app YAML. And then we will see something. Um, I'll call this Python XXXXX. Just, I don't know, we just make a mistake. Well, let's not make that mistake. Let's, let's make a more common mistake of not indenting script. So our mistake is the fact that we didn't indent script. And so let's see what happens. Now, the moment where this fails is not necessarily when you hit a browser, but when you start it up. Okay, and so now it said, I had some trouble starting it up. That's what this little warning sign is saying. And so the place to go look is in the logs. The logs will tell you what's going on. Okay, and so now it's complaining, and it's saying, ooh, invalid object, unknown handler, blah, 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 blah. You just got to get used to reading these. App.yaml, line 8, column 1. Okay, well, you know, if it's app animal, you just got to stare at it and figure, did you make a mistake? And in this case... We forgot the spaces, so I'm going to do that, and I'll do File, Save. Now I'll close my log file, and now I will stop the application, and I will try to run it again. And now it successfully runs, and away you go with browsing. So I'll show you a couple more things. I'm going to hit the refresh a couple of times here. Refresh, refresh, refresh. And you can see in the logs as this activity, those were my three, those were my three refreshes right here. So the logs actually tell you as your web browser is making interactions to your web server and it's doing a get of slash uh, the slash document over and over and over again. And so that gives you I think a basic introduction to writing your oh let me show you one more thing one more thing. So let's just make a tiny change. 
let's make a change to our software. File, save. And you don't have to restart the web server. You just hit refresh. Hello, Chuck. Hello, Jim. And you just make your change and you save it. I'm, I'm probably doing that too fast. I am hitting Command S to save it as a shortcut. And then I can hit refresh. Okay, so I'll shut this down. And I hope that uh, that was useful and that, uh, that you can find other useful information on getting started on App Engine uh, from both the O'Reilly book and from AppEngineLearn.com.